or not the Mega Man, the Sonic, the Sonic like. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Let us know in chat if you got the if you got the enhance. <laughs> the enhanced feature. Zoom. Yeah. But right now we got uh, Mega Man versus Pokemon Trainer, Blitz Luigi versus Doku. This is a weird matchup just for the fact that like neither, none of the Pokemon Trainer characters do particularly well against this? a Mega Man. But it's like they're all so like it's all like even matchups across the board. Yeah. So it's pretty annoying for Pokemon Trainer to kind of get in. They really struggle against Zoner characters, kind of like this. But the thing about Mega Man, right? Mega Man is not just a zoner. He can be a brawler type character. Yeah. We know MPG has that pretty much just that all around rushdown aggression. But what kind of. Qu the question here is what kind of Mega Man is Blitz Luigi? Uh, Blitz Luigi plays it per matchup. Like against Ling, he likes to play it really, really slow. But against uh, players like Don, like with Mario, he likes to uh, get aggressive with him. Um, he likes to play like a, a mid range too, like where you're kind of in a whiff punish range, but also he'll just be constantly shooting pellets at you in that mid range to make it really annoying. Okay. And Noku, on the other hand, I feel like um, he is a master of all three of the Pokemon trainers. Like, yeah, you know, he's like, like an all rounder. You know, trainer. like most trainers have like one one character who's like clearly their best. I don't feel like Noku has that strength or that weakness, which is a good and a bad thing. Because sometimes when you see Quid go on the Charizard, you're like, please God, get a switch as soon as possible. <laughs> it's just the Ivysaur putting in the work. Bro, it's just the Ivysaur and the, and the, and the Squirtle low percent. Yeah, but I'm liking that Noku's kind of just going with the Squirtle, as you can see, because I guess the Ivysaur has a lot of trouble kind of like getting inside of Blitz uh, Mega Man's pressure, and you can only really go to them in this situation when you kind of just get them at the ledge. But look how they approach. Like, they just have to raise a leaf, they have to like slowly walk up, yep. dash shield, and Blitz Luigi has so many options to kind of just combat that and answer it in real time. Yeah, and you saw uh, he was definitely making Noku approach there, because we started on the right side of the stage, and then... Uh, Blitz We're Luigi, back here. <laughs> Blitz Luigi pelleted all the way to the left corner of the stage in that situation. Uh, but Noku, yeah, is finding it hard to get stocks against Blitz Luigi right now, which is like really unusual for Pokemon trainers. I feel like they, it's easy, to, it's not easy to find stocks, but they usually do find them, whether it be on the ledge or by using Charizard and just getting in real quick like that. Yeah, the back air definitely still not up right there, but. Noku, I believe, might stay. The Zard, staying on the Zard is a pretty tricky pick because you're such a huge target at this point. I know you're pretty high in the damage. You want the rage to kill, but Mega Man can be just a master of kind of just trapping at the ledge, much like this. Flame Sword just slicing up that stock. And now he's got a full stock, a juicy full stock lead here for Blitz Luigi. Noku's got an answer. And uh, it's I, tough. I don't know where he finds the answer because Blitz Luigi has had um, all three characters on lock. It is really tough because Mega Man can just kind of keep you out with the pellets. Leaf Shield and Metal Blade have been doing so much work on Noku, and we haven't really seen Noku kind of find the answer. Like, see, when Mega Man Leaf Shields like that, you just got to hold that. There's nothing yeah. you can do. Look, you're <laughs> just trapped. Tough. Help me. <laughs> it's tough. Sometimes life isn't fair, you know? And uh, Mega Man <laughs> it sometimes just is not fair. Why Why is life giving all the lemons to Mega Man? That's what I want to know. <laughs> life gives you lemons. Give me some lemons. Life gives you lemons, but only if your name is Mega Man. <laughs> only if you are a robot. Oh, God. A robot named Rockman. A fighting robot. Mega Man. <laughs> no DI. No DI. Yeah. That, back, that back throw trips me up because that back throw is so fast. I feel like people yeah. are just not expecting to DI yeah. it. Um, I don't think Noku is expecting to get grabbed there, and Blitzuigi with the frame perfect <laughs> throw there. Like as soon as he hit that grab, he's like, "Ah, get out of here, get right off the stage." And uh, yeah, Noku loses game one. Blitzuigi with a really, really impressive showing there. What, what did you think about that Blitzuigi performance? Hmm. I'm thinking right now Blitzuigi's performance is looking pretty dominant. I want to see how Noku can kind of shut this down. Yeah. You can see them going to FD, whipping up the Tekken 2s. Noku is about to pull out his secondary Kazuya. It is, you can it see is him definitely already the going. Sonic. It oh, it's a Chow! It is Chow. I, I had a feeling it was a Chow, but like, yeah. is that a Chow? I'm like, yeah. no, it can't be. Yeah, it That's is. awesome. It That's awesome. Is. That is sick. That is sick. Um, he definitely needs that power up from his ice because uh, he didn't have it right there. But FD, I really like this pick from Noku. I'm surprised Blitzluigi actually left this open. 
because uh, it's going to be a lot easier to catch landings against Mega Man. Yeah, no platforms around, all this open space. But again, it's a matter of fact of can you get in Actually, against the wall that Blitzluigi's yeah. putting oh, up? Oh yeah, he doesn't have any platforms to reset on. Maybe this is what Blitzluigi wants. It was a, it was a, it was a trap. He, he sent him here, but now I fooled you. And now he's just gonna set up the pellet wall. <laughs> All right, but the Squirtle getting sent out the sword right here. But listen, Luigi kind of packing it away, not letting Noku kind of just escape from the ledge. You can see him just hanging on back. They're not afraid to give up that center stage. They yeah. really don't need it. And it's <laughs> what in the customary as a as a Pokemon trainer, as soon as your opponent reaches past 60%, you get off the Squirtle. <laughs> you get off the Squirtle. <laughs> That's just what you do as a Pokemon trainer. Squirtle to the Ivysaur, but the Ivysaur not really putting in work right now. No, it has not done absolutely anything against Blitz the entire time. Because Blitz will just run to the other side of the stage and it's so hard for Ivysaur to get in. Like, I feel like the Ivysaur, right? The Ivysaur is uh, Noku's comfortable pick. They have some pretty reliable kill options like back air and to just back air to like back air vine weapons, such like that. Yeah. As you can see, him just go for it several, several times. Yeah. And I think one of the advantages of making it so that Noku is uncomfortable with their Ivysaur is it's harder to get edge guards against Mega Man, which is somewhere where you might be able to get an advantage in this matchup. Because he's, he's constantly not on Ivysaur, he can't get those down air spikes. And he's living to 150% on every stock. All right, there you go. Up throw, close it out. Such a big, big kill move that Noku has in the back pocket. Okay, Noku finally having a lead for the first time in this set. And sticking to uh, sticking with this Charizard guns here, he wants that extra that extra weight to lift those uh, Mega Man kill moves. I think. Yeah, and it's, it's this in this situation, you would think maybe you know go to Squirtle, try to get some damage, and just build up for the next stock. Yeah, just just be like this stock's basically over with, you know. Let me try to get a low percent combo in. But now nah, he's just uh, continuing to stay at it with Charizard. Hasn't worked so far, I will say. I'm a big fan of his patience, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's staying on it. He's sticking with his guns. I respect it. And all he needs is one hit for it to matter. And I'd say 25%. It's fine extra credit. You can see that. Blitz Luigi is now fiending for that grab. Bro, he's, you see it. He needs that. He needs that kill so far. And this is something we've seen from Blitz Luigi a lot. Um, is that when he doesn't, you know, get that kill, he can kind of like get a little bit stubborn with his his kill options. Like back throw is definitely his kill option when he gets like nervous. Like you just want to grab him to get him off the stage. But as you saw there, Charizard doesn't die from a kill throw at even 180, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, like you were saying earlier, the FD pick is kind of working out here as Noku's trapping all of Blitz Luigi's landings this time around. Yeah, and still carrying a pretty solid lead right now. Try to just get this corner situation just going around, but Leaf Shield always just invalidating. Yep. When in doubt. <laughs> when in when doubt. In doubt. <laughs> Leaf Shield. <laughs> Leaf Shield. It's so good. And it got nerfed, which is crazy. That's the crazy part about Leaf Shield. <laughs> is it got nerfed. And it's still one of the best moves. And you can't even challenge it either. As you can see, oh! Noku just tried to challenge it there, but yeah. just could not muster it up. That was like really scary from Noka there. I thought he just timed the uh, Razor Leaf quick enough so that the S Smash wouldn't get out, but he ended up getting a trade there. Uh oh. I see. Noku just trying to go for the aggressive uh, Vine Whip mix. I like it. The spacing there from Blitzluigi was really good. He expected Noku to overextend there, so he baited him out with the Leaf Shield to get, uh, with not the, the Metal Blade uh, to get the grab there. Really great stuff. Yeah, and you can see him kind of just punishing these run-ins and these jumps as well to cover Noku's jump-ins with the Metal Blade, which is some pretty solid stuff. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I actually thought Blitzluigi got that was a sick confirm, by the, the way. The whoopty scoop. But I thought he got the uh, the metal blade like gimp <laughs> on Noka there, but the uh, super armor from Uppy like shocked me. I was like, oh, right. Ooh. Those are the edge guards I'm talking about. If you're hitting those, you're doing a great job as Noku. And now we're down to final stock. What can Noku do here to keep his winner's bracket alive? That's even game, all right. Chucking a blade right at with Luigi right now. All aboard the Squirtle Bagger train. Trying to get these free form combos going around. The, <laughs> the free form. The, uh, the artist. He, he He's painting a picture right now. Yep. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh that, no! That's a Blitz okay. Luigi, that's I a get Blitz so Luigi scared. classic. That's a bait. He wanted, oh you to, he wanted you to go out there so he could hit you with that. He was ready for that. That's that's Ooh. one of the things the Blitz rush, Luigi's The brings. rush is dangerous. It yep. traps you. Mega yep. Man wants to set you up on that and just yep. take you off the top Whoa. of the up air. Yep. And now you're shooketh. Bro, it's been shooks since he got hit by the uh -oh. up B. Has it gotten a hit? But it's just been Blitz Luigi the entire time. 
Charizard might clutch up here. We have the Rage. That definitely is always that kill percentage when you have that tipper back air. The kill throws to set up in the corner. Forward throw is not going to do it, but you build up that chip, and it's slowly you might get that. Yep. Okay. And something we saw earlier when uh, on the very first stock of this game, Charizard lives to a very high Ooh. percent, but not when you get hit by F Smash. I was going to say, you might want to stick with Charizard there because you'll live to a very high percent. But Blitz Luigi with the 2 0 called it early for my boy from Connecticut. This is literally.